Analysis. Analysis. I hope you're feeling positive because this is the Introverted Positron and welcome to another episode of Tips Analysis. Today I want to talk about Smash Bros, which is pretty obvious, but I also want to talk about my predictions that I made earlier this year. This year, not this year. <laughs> I actually have a pretty long history with Smash Bros, which is not that surprising. Uh, I've been around since the first game came out, which was a while ago now. <laughs> Quite a long time. Back in, um, I think it was late 90s or 2000 on the dot. I actually can't remember, to be honest. But the point is, is it's been a long time. I've been playing it for a long time, and it was actually pretty much all that my friends and I would play together for a long time. Um, I got bored of it because of that. But I'm not bored of Smash Bros. in general, mostly just the particular game we were playing, which is actually Project M, which is a very uh, cool uh, hackless mod of Brawl, which is something I recommend trying out if you haven't already. It's not e as easy to find anymore, but... Um, it still exists. Anyway, so there's a few things, of course, that are being asked about this new Smash Bros. Um, what characters are going to be added? Is it a new Smash Bros? Is it a port? Which is kind of the same question. Um, and, you know, is it going to change significantly from the old one? And I have my own opinions about that. Um, and it is opinions right now because we don't know for sure on any of it. But I do want to talk about why I think what I think and what I think. So, in terms of it being a port, I don't think it's a port. I really, really, really don't think it's a port. Uh, Smash Bros. has just had this history of, like, always significantly changing. And as much as Smash 4 is awesome, I don't feel like it's the culmination of what the gameplay for Smash Bros. is going to be. Especially since the gameplay in it is still pretty slow. Like, it's not as, as floaty or as slow as Brawl feels. But it still takes forever to get a to get a KO in that game if you're doing one on one. I just, I don't feel like that's the end result for the game. I think there's gonna be some pretty massive adjustments between this and the current game, and I don't think it's a port for a variety of reasons. But I don't even think it's a, it's an adjustment like a lot of people think. I could be wrong. 100%. I'm probably wrong on this <laughs> because the chances are that it is because it's the easier thing to do. It's the quicker thing to do, but it's also been several years since the last Smash Bros, so it's enough time for them to build it from the ground up. And it's, like, there's time, and I know that they did the DLC characters and all that, but that doesn't take the same team that develops the whole game in its entirety and doesn't take as long as developing as developing the game in its entirety. So I still, I still think that it's going to be a brand new game. That and the way they showed it off, I know that there's the whole band kind of not not copyrighted and stuff like that, but it, it's just it would be a very disappointing thing for Nintendo to kind of like announce the way they did and then be like, oh yeah, it, it's actually a port. Um, <laughs> but it's it, it, there have been some examples cited, like they did the same thing with uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which they didn't do because the only footage that we saw in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe before it was released was. Um, was in the Switch trailer. It wasn't really an announcement of the game, it was more of a demonstration of what the Switch could do. So they had like Mario Kart, Mario, uh, Mario Odyssey was there too and hadn't even been announced yet um, and all this stuff. But once they actually announced the game, it was obvious it was a port. The first trailer for it still showed that. So I don't think that's really a solid argument to say that that's, that's a reason to doubt it, but it, it's still an argument, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, I, I have my complete doubts that support. Now, as for who's going to be added to the game, I have no idea. I, I never do with these games. Nintendo doesn't ever do anything that people would expect them to do. They don't honor the series that perhaps they would want to, in a sense, because that's not what Smash Bros. is, um, as much as I hate to admit it. Smash Bros. is a marketing campaign. It's supposed to market the characters that they are currently using for the most part, um, except for some exceptions. They have to have their, you know, their classics in there because they've always been there. Um, and people would be very disappointed they weren't. Um, people are still frustrated with the fact that Ice Climbers weren't in the game, even though they weren't like an incredibly liked character by most people. Still have their people who played them, and they were still pretty annoying to play against if people only had to play them in like melee and stuff. But uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, um, I actually do expect Ice Climbers to come back just because we don't have the 3DS. The 3DS was the reason why they didn't end up in the in the uh, in Smash 4 because. Um, it was too weak of hardware to, to run a double character like that. To actually keep track of both. So that's that's why. So I, I kind of think that they're probably going to 
come back, come back just because they're classics. So the question is, is what what games do they want to promote on their system? Um, and we already know about the Inklings, which makes perfect sense because they're Inklings. Uh, Splatoon 2 has become a fairly popular Nintendo franchise, and it makes sense to promote it in their game. Um, it's like how Xenoblade Chronicles ended up in um, in Smash 4 because again, it's a popular game. Uh, they got characters from the from other people, just made their roster look better, um, even though it wasn't necessarily promoting them on like games coming to their system. Um, but it did kind of show that they still had a partnership with like Square and stuff like that. Bayonetta also makes sense, uh, which is why I think Bayonetta is going to end up in this roster again as well, because as much as um, <laughs> she was, I think, yeah, she got banned from tournaments, I think, for Smash 4. Um, but she'll be popping up, I think, for this one, just because Bayonetta 3 is right around the corner and because of all that. Now, what I'm interested about uh, is to see who they add, because who they add can sometimes indicate what kind of um, new games we're going to get. Because, for instance, in, in Brawl, we got Pit, who was uh, <laughs> from, oh uh, wow, uh, Kid Icarus um, was the game that he was originally from, which hadn't had a sequel in years, and then suddenly we got Kid Icarus Uprising afterwards. And he was put in there as a sort of advertisement for that to kind of like promote the character um, existing again. So, in terms of the roster, uh, I have my predictions in terms of what they're going to do, in terms of what they're trying to do with it, but I, I have my doubts about it. In terms of being, like, stuff like people want, like, Ridley and stuff. Although, you know what? With Metroid Prime 4 coming, I, run, I wonder if they are going to add a character from Metroid uh, to this one. I could see, I could see that happening uh, for Metroid this time around. I don't think it's going to be Ridley. Um, but it might be one of the other bounty hunters. I forget who... I forget the name. I think it's Silux, who is the one who uh, keeps on popping up like the ship at the end of 3 and in, uh, at the end of Federation Force. I think that's who it is. Um, I'm sorry if I got that wrong. I'm <laughs> a big fan of Metroid, but sometimes I forget those things. I never really played Hunters um, that much. I pretty much like almost beat the game, didn't actually beat the game because I rented it, and then kind of left it <laughs> after that just because I didn't enjoy it that much. Although, from what I understand, I had a pretty good multiplayer. Yeah, so in terms of the roster. Yeah, I could see Metroid. Bayonetta, I think, is going to come back um, for sure. And I think we're going to get all of our regulars from Brawl and stuff. Maybe not maybe not Toon Link, um, but I think they might because it's it's possible and this is what it is possible that Breath of the Wild Link will in fact get a new moveset because it's to reflect more of what Breath of the Wild was. Um, like having normal bombs, normal bombs and stuff like that. And in that case, Toon Link would make sense as almost more of a classic Link. Um, so I could see that. I could see that. Maybe even yeah, yeah. no, no, not not gonna get too far into it. I just don't know. Um, people like to make these predictions. I don't even have a dream roster because I just don't set expectations in terms of the roster. I just have fun with it, and I always allow myself to get excited about the characters and the possible move sets they could have, even if it's a character I didn't even want or didn't even know about. It's still fun. Like I love uh, Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt's one I, a character I loved using in four. Uh, such a fun character in my opinion. Um, <laughs> Stuff like that, but yeah, outside of the regulars and like some of the characters, obviously we've seen Smash Four, and I think almost for sure Bayonetta. I, I don't have a ton to say on the roster, as I spend five minutes talking about the roster. So, um, in terms of that, I think that's pretty much it in terms of the Smash Bros. So, in terms of my predictions uh, for this year, obviously there's not a lot that's happened. It's only been Three months there's been two there's been a nintendo direct mini nintendo direct so that's really all the news we've gotten but one thing has been confirmed that i was thinking that there was going to be a huge announcement for this year that just hadn't been announced yet um it looks like smash Bros. was in fact that and that kind of makes me think a little bit further that um pokemon and metroid neither one of those will be coming this year um because it, it kind of promotes it kind of uh solidifies that idea that they have something to push Switch sales this year, and that the, it explains why they have such high um, expectations for its sales. So I don't expect those to come this year still. Um, in fact, this kind of makes it stronger, in my opinion, that they won't. But we'll see what happens. Um, it could be... I could be wrong. I still hope I'm wrong. But we'll have fun with it anyway. I'm looking forward to see what, what happens this year with the Switch. I'm looking forward to see what Smash Bros. looks like. Even if it ends up being a port with some added character stages and modes, uh, hopefully a proper story mode. I'd love to see a story mode, regardless of what it is. Um, and we'll see. <laughs> so, yeah, thanks for watching. See you soon.
Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps with the channel and it's always appreciated. I'm going to leave some links here so you can go check out some other stuff on my channel or you can always just search the channel, there's lots of stuff for people, playlists and all that stuff. Um, and so on that note, thank you again, have a great day, and remember to keep positive.